She might have landed roles in Hollywood blockbusters like Catch a Fire and Invictus, but Bonnie's quite happy to light up the smaller screen too, a place where she feels right at home. Bonnie, hello, gorgeous. Hey, how are you? So, so good. Yeah, gorgeous, you. Look. I have to actually live up to this very glamorous <laughs> show. Tell me, you've gone from movie life and movie scripts to live television scripts. I know, right? What an adjustment. Well, Joe, I just stepped off a set now in March um, of a uh, Wallander detective series for the BBC. And shortly after that, I started Afternoon Express. Great opportunity. I mean, who wouldn't? Yes, I'm going to miss acting for a while, but this is really exciting. I mean, live television is a different kettle of fish. Every day, one hour of incredible television, lots of content, fabulous guests. Is that a lot of pressure on you and the presenters and your entire team? There is a lot of pressure. Well, just because I'm hard on myself. I know Bonang and Jeannie are the same. We, we, we are workaholics. We want to bring a perfect product. But you know what happens? You, you get to work and you meet the people and you meet the guests and you interact and you just love it so much. It doesn't feel like work after a while. So the pressure goes out the window. I know in live TV, every second counts and you're on in a couple of minutes. To start in about two seconds. So I'll chat to you later. I'll leave you to it. I'll be watching from here. <laughs> Good afternoon, South Africa. Lovely to be back in your TV rooms. Welcome to Afternoon Express right here on SABC3. It's pretty clear that Bon Bizzle, as she's affectionately known on social media, has come a long way since being discovered by a talent scout during a chance meeting at a bus stop. This led to her first role in a drama series called Viva Families. Really incredible to actually be here behind the scenes and watch the presenters do their thing on Afternoon Express. The atmosphere here, absolutely electric. The presenters are drop-dead gorgeous. Really wonderful to see. The popular show's secret? It's entertaining and inspiring, encouraging viewers to be the best version of themselves. Wow, you are incredible. You Thank are you. such... No, you're incredible. No, no, no. I watch you. That's an amazing energy. Well done. Thank you so much. I really love doing the show. I love working with the girls. They bring on like their other energy and it combines with mine and we just create magic. That combined magic Joanne knows well, having worked with both Jeannie and Bonang for years. Now, the two of you have obviously worked together for years, but having Bonnie on the show also adds a different dimension. She kind of equalizes the two of us. I mm. feel like Bonang and I are very similar. We've got these big uh, personalities, we've got big energy, we've got loud voices, and Bonnie kind of comes in and she's the cool between us, mm. who just kind of chills us out a bit, which is great. It's a really good combination. I've never worked with Bonnie either, but you know, I appreciate her intelligence. I'm pre I appreciate, I think, her experiences and everything she's been in life through, whether it's her personal life or the industry. She just comes with a, such a well of knowledge. Because on Afternoon Express, we do touch on topics like, you know, motherhood, children. I mean, Jeannie and I are mothers, but that's where Bonnie comes in. We, mm. we, we touch on very serious issues, and that's what I appreciate about her, that you can have this sort of mother figure um, who can interpret and speak about those really, really deep issues that, you know, SABC3 viewers want to see. That's why the combination of the three of us become one voice for the South African woman. Yeah. At a recent cover shoot, her striking good looks, strength and style had fashion editor Siam Chemla sold. We basically just wanted to showcase her, you know, because she has such a successful career in the entertainment industry. She's one of the very few actresses that's done production both local and international and we just wanted to celebrate her and we feel that she's one of the women that our readers would relate to. Bonnie takes her mother figure role very seriously. When she's not working on set, you'll find her spending time with her two active little boys. How are our little Picassos and Mommy doing? How are you guys doing here? Pretty good, just doing a bit of drawing. And actually, the boys were about to go and make some pizza, aren't you, boys? You're going to make Auntie Jo and myself a pizza, hey? Okay, enjoy pizza making, Kaya. No pizza. No pizza. <laughs> From working on huge movies to working on South Africa's biggest talk show now, what has the transition been like? Doing Afternoon Express has been like the biggest surprise, um, no, but I was ready for it. I've always wanted 
to do talk, both on radio and television. Um, because I'm just really passionate about a lot of cu both current issues and women's issues, and so this could not have come at a better time. I watched you all those years back on Zap Mag, so watching you blossom on screen has just been very, very inspiring. It's incredible how now that I'm presenting again, I'm a very different presenter to what I was in the beginning. I mean, I was way younger, so it's much more self-conscious, so self-aware, and so um, wanting to put on a persona. And now it's so easy to bring myself to the screen because I've grown in my skin and I'm comfortable in my skin and I've accepted who I am because of life's experiences, you know. Even though you work in this glamorous world, you are essentially a working mother, juggling motherhood and two boisterous boys. How do you cope? Joe, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. I take it a day at a time. I'm definitely getting better at it. Um, but I've also learned that the time I do have with them, like for example in the mornings before they go to, to school, um, while they have breakfast, I'll read them a story. You know, so I've learned how to capitalize on the moments that we do have and fit in a lot of stuff. And of course a bonus is I can come to a kitty-friendly restaurant like Cafe Paradiso and the kids can go to the back and, and make um, chocolate chip cookies and make their own pizzas while I just sit and have a cappuccino and unwind and there's a beautiful view. Oh, the joys of Cape Town living. Yes. <laughs> The multi-talented Bonnie is a proudly South African woman we're only too glad to get to know.